freezing. Bloody freezing, he reckons. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, as you can see, we are back at the skate park. Back out with Ange. <laughs> so, what I'll be doing today is having a little bash around with the PD Racing TK16. In the last video, I had a bit of an issue. I broke one of the rear plastic drive shafts, and it turns out that the steel CVDs will fit directly into the rear drive cups. So, yeah, I've installed them. They were very easy to install, and I'm pretty sure they're going to last much longer than the little plastic drive shafts, especially with the little brushless system in there. So, Ange has got his little JJRC Q117, yeah, 50 amp, 3 SP control. Yeah with the Dumbo RC receiver in there. Yeah, so I've got the little Hobbywing 25 amp 3S speed control and a HSP 2440, 4,500 kV motor, I believe. And I'm also running a little Dumbo RC receiver with the Dumbo RC controller. So I think I've got the gyro turned on, but I'm not using it in this car. It's not really necessary. It's a very stable little car, so yeah. Uh, yeah, one thing I keep forgetting to do, tighten the slipper clutch, because it's actually got a slipper clutch on it. You can hear it. It's all slipper at the moment. <laughs> at least I'm not going to damage any gears though. There's one thing I forgot to mention, in the last video, and I think Ange was with me when it happened, the stock servo went absolutely nuts doing whatever it wanted to. When I plugged it in today, it was working fine. Still the stock servo. I'm not sure what happened. I think it might have just had a bit of a glitch out and just didn't want to work for a second. So yeah, it's working now. Should be fine. <laughs> Pretty tough. A bit hard. This is a tough little car. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I might have broken something. Oh, already. Look at the angle of this. <laughs> oh no, I've just bent. I've just bent the uh, screw. Oh, I haven't got any spare <laughs> screws. Unless we unscrew it and re. It's all good. She's all good. <laughs> the steering's all off now. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, my sliver clutch is uh, actually slowing me down heaps. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to get um, starting to get throttle issues. Oh, yeah, look, front wheels aren't ballooning as much as the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Unless got some diff problems or a center drive shaft. Yeah, seems like it. All right, well that's me done. You're done. The PD racing is done. <laughs> yeah, I might take the body off and check it quickly. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Nice. All right, yeah, guys. So I'm pretty sure I've done the done the front differential, the crown gear, or the uh, the pinion gear. You need another body pin. Sink your yeah, right there. Yeah, it. <laughs> it was straight over the top of your own head. <laughs> All right, unplug this, and we'll have a watch of Ange for a little bit. Nice. He done it again. It's straight over the top of his own head. <laughs> What's the back? Uh, that's the back. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Oh no. I missed. Oh. <laughs> If it wasn't for the trucks, I reckon I'd be able to keep going. Yeah, it's a bit too loose for me, cheers. No worries, man. Break it. Yeah, steering servo. Servo? Yeah. All right, there it goes. Come back to normal. <laughs> well, my double-sided Gorilla Grip came off, and so the ESC uh, was pushing, because it's very, very tight. Yeah, there yeah. Is, there isn't a lot of room. I thought it would hold up, but it's not. Also, my, you know, my ESC, uh, my receiver. Receiver, yeah. That happens to me almost every bash if I don't zip tie it. Yeah. That's better. Good for now. Got the looks of it. That's working. Everything's come loose. All my, <laughs> all my hard impacts. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a bit slippery. <laughs> that was a nice smooth little jump. <laughs> Alright, well, we may as well go and grab the other cars, I guess. Yeah, guys, and just having a little bit of a hard time lining the jumps up on this really loose sort of dirt area. It is very slippery though, with pretty much any car, even if they got really good tires. And yeah, obviously I've got some issues there with the with the bent uh, screw at least. I know that's bent, possibly this side, but the components themselves, all the swing arms and everything are still together. It's a very tough little car. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with it actually for the price. It was only about 160 Australian dollars. And with a little brushless system, a $50 brushless system, it's excellent. <laughs> nice, that's the one. You got to cut out. I reckon your battery. Yeah, I reckon the battery. Battery's uh, unplugged. Fell out. All right, that's saying I want to go back in the car now. <laughs> <laughs>